Hi, this is Kamina again. I um, wanted to show some different uh, vitamins that I've started taking. Well, I've been taking them for a while, some of them. My dad's real heavy into this. and um, I'm taking um, biotin. So I got that from uh, CVS. And it's good for hair and nails. Hair growth and nails and stuff like that, and uh, fat metabolism, you know. Uh, but I've been taking I've been taking that for a couple years, so the biotin and <coughs> um, COQ10. I didn't get this thing right. Oh yeah, uh, COQ10. Um, take it with a meal. Uh, and it, it's supposed to adverse the effect, the uh, adverse effects from statins, and I take a statin uh, because I have high cholesterol, so I take a, a statin, and I don't like taking it, but it's, so far it's been the only thing that's brought my cholesterol level below 300. I've been above 300 for a long time, and it protects your heart and and keeps the uh, the statin medicine from giving you other side of a side effects. So. Um, I've been taking that and um, taking the uh, Allison uh, garlic with garlic, Allison with garlic. I can't get to now. Get the short. There it goes. That's from GNC. Um, that's real good for cholesterol, cardiovascular health. And it doesn't have the odor to it. It's uh, vegetarian, uh, unscented, so it's supposed to be good for your blood and and uh, your cholesterol and just your whole cardiovascular health. So I've been taking that. Um, sometimes I take some in the morning, some in the evening. Um, uh, so I take a blood pressure medication in the morning, so I try not to take anything with that. So when I take that, as soon as I get up, and then maybe three hours later, then I start taking my vitamins. And um, this triple omega three six nine. It's got fish oil, borage oil, and flaxseed oil, and um, they say take three a day with food. I'm not trying to overdo it and take a whole bunch of medication at one time so right now with the other things that I'm taking I just take one I take one a day um, then um, see how it goes I'm, I know some people, some people take 10 12 pills a day you know vitamins and vitamins just like anything else sometimes they can interact with each other, but I've, I've tried to read up pretty well on it, so um, no problem with these together interacting. And the last thing that I take is uh, coconut oil. Oh, I'll never get this camera right. coconut oil capsules and um, this also says to take uh, this says take four a day and I take two because it's supposed to be good for um, in the jet you know for your digestion and and um, uh, has no coloring in it no extra flavoring or anything and it's supposed to help maintain cholesterol levels and and you know help with your immune system and Helps you with the gastric, gastrointestinal. If I can say that word right, gastro, gastrointestinal. It's supposed to be good, you know, keep that working. And now, I also, because my dad gets this stuff and it's, it's really good, and comes in the little capsules, kind of like the vitamin E used to come. You know, it comes in the capsule. And so what I've been doing, like when my hair gets real, real dry. I prick a hole in it, you know, and squeeze it out and rub it through my hair, through my locks, and it's just enough oil to 
keep them not from being hard, but to kind of make them feel moisturized, you know. So I pop two and and squeeze one out and rub it through my hair. So because this this uh, this is uh, extra virgin certified organic and it's like uh, four thousand milligrams per capsule. So. Um, I really, I'm using that on my hair right now. I know I'm always changing around something, but I'm trying. I'm I'm trying to get better. But anyway, okay. I found out uh, the other day I had to dye my hair again. I had to dye my roots because I had been using this Hydrovel, and this stuff is really good if you mix it with uh, the water, denature, deionized water. And spray it. I never had a problem with it. Well, the other day my scalp was dry, kind of itching, so I'm, you know, squirting it in my head places, you know. And then I look in the mirror, and right where I spray, it was a shine. And I said, well, maybe that's just the stuff laying on my scalp and shining like that. So then I took a t uh, face cloth and and blotted it. <laughs> it was my gray. This stuff by itself, I, you can. Euchanasia, it's good for your scalp, but it's hell on dye. So it's true. It completely took the hair color off of my roots, off of my roots, and they weren't showing at all before I did this. So just wanted to put it out there. If anybody else thinking about using it, dilute, dilute, dilute. Don't use it full strength on your hair because it will take the color out. Um, this also. I like Dr. Bronner's and everything, but I mainly let my daughter use it now. I don't use it to tea tree because she has like eczema real bad in the summertime, and she can take a bath with this stuff, and and it, it just really helps dry that uh, eczema really well. And I've had this bottle for ever, and it lasts a really long time, but it really works for her when she has itchy skin and stuff like that. And one quick thing I also wanted to say is that um, uh, I have been asked S-U-G-A-H-V-E-R-N-A-E I'm not sure how you pronounce sugar burn I'm not sure how you pronounce it but she had asked me for about touching up because her locks are growing out so fast and she just doesn't want to die all the time and I understand that because that's, that's really a pain I wish I had started locking long before my Gray decided wanted to just make an appearance every time turn around. So anyway, I got one of these cups from Sally's. I don't know if you can see, but it has some measurements on it. It has some measurements. If you can bear, yeah, you can see. Okay, so what I do is take the cup, and it's got one fourth, one half, one, one half, two, on up. Uh, when I want this, you know, you can buy those kits to have the, uh, you know, the root touch up, and you pay eight or nine dollars for that. Well, buy a box of color. You can get about four touch ups out of this one box, you know, and for what they they pay for one time touch up. For a touch up, when I just want to do the uh, root area hairline right in here, it may be a little bit in the crown. I'll use a half an ounce of color, a half an ounce of the developer. It comes with the kit, with the natural instincts. That's why I've been using the natural instincts. Half of each, half a half an ounce of this, half ounces of the developer, and ten drops, ten drops of Gray Magic, and stir it up. Mix it up in this, in this little thing here, with a cotton swab. I mix it with a cotton swab and mix it up and then I'll just take it and run along my edges you know where I need it like that and just keep applying it and even in here but now when I do it I have my hair up you know so I don't get my ends because my ends are a little lighter and I don't want them to get dark but I put them up in my little bands and just only do the roots but I'm just trying to quickly show before I run out of time here that that's how I do it and keeps from having to do your whole head and from being over over processed so uh, that's all for now if anyone has any questions or anything just uh, leave me a comment
and I'll, I'll see if I can help you. If you got anything, let me know. If I need all the help I can get, thank you.